what is going on fellow wastelanders welcome to the channel shock radio here and today we're going to cover a few building tips in particularly i'm going to cover the shoot through parts in the game we're actually going to go through all the shoot through parts that i know so stay tuned for that because i'm sure there's going to be one or two that you probably have never heard of that'll in, in, uh, enhance your ride greatly so to start off i'm going to show you one of my builds i'm going to strip down all of the non shoot through parts and show you what a skeleton of my build will look like with only shoot through parts no bumper no actual armor and the reason is because i think shoot through parts are probably the most important parts in the game and when i play a lot of especially low power score uh gameplay i notice a lot of players kind of skip this sh the shoot through parts they look at the durability and they're like wow uh you know this this piece only has eight durability so i'm not gonna use it but I want to tell you something about those shoot through parts. They actually have 10 times the amount of durability that is listed. And why is that? Well, if you look at this, say, um, buggy floor, that bullet uh, icon right there that says 90%, well, that means that 90% of damage will pass through this part. So if it has 116 durability, it'll actually take 160 damage to destroy this part. Now, there are a few exceptions. Uh, weapons like blockchains and rippers ignore the uh, the bonuses or most of the bonuses of, that these shoot through parts provide. So if you're using blockchains or rippers, then you're going to go through shoot through parts a lot better. Hence why I actually have a bunch of bumpers kind of guarding my shoot through parts because rippers and blockchains really don't mess with bumpers that much. So we're almost done taking off all of the actual armor on our build and then you'll be able to see kind of what a skeleton of one of my builds will look like and then we're going to go through all the shoot through parts and show you guys all of them all of them literally all of them so that is the skeleton of my build only thing left on my build are weapons modules and shoot through parts so you notice all these parts have that bullet icon 90 percent some of them have a little bit less like this uh, mounting bracket actually only features 50% bullet pass through, but the durability is a 90 durability. That's actually kind of insane. And you'll notice the weight to these uh, parts is actually insanely low. So like this small buggy floor has eight durability. Well, we've talked about it. It actually has 80 durability and it's only nine mass. So you really, if you're not using a lot of these parts, you really, really should be using them. Now, cannons and things like that, like if we notice here, since uh, my so it only has shoot through parts we can kind of see what happens now if i shoot say like the cabin um my prediction is that it's going to go through those shoot through parts and actually hit the cabin but it might not okay so yeah there it is see the cannon penetrated and it actually hit the cabin so it went through the shoot through parts and hit the cabin but notice that that shoot through part is still on i've hit that buggy uh or that um what is it called gun mount with uh four cannons now Bam. And my shoot-through parts didn't actually fall off. My build did. So yeah, you use those shoot-through parts to kind of hold on all of the ridiculous armor that you're going to put on your build. So that is what a skeleton of one of my builds looks like with purely shoot-through parts. And we can look and see that all these mounting points now are really, really good mounting points to put pieces of armor. I got a nice boxy front end, so a nice even um, mounting points. So one reason I like to do this first, I just add as much shoot through parts as I can. And then I like look at all the mounting points of my build and kind of build from there. And then after that, this is kind of what we would we would have. And I'm not saying I'm the best builder, but I do have some pretty sound builds. So this is with all the armor added to the shoot through parts on it. And then if we're doing that shooting like that same exact spot, it's gonna take off the armor before it takes off all of the the shoot through parts. And the uh, gun mount finally went bye bye but anyway these shoot through parts will make your build so much more durable your weapons will stay on so much longer all that good stuff so let's actually check check out uh all the shoot through parts in the game hopefully i don't miss any but we're gonna go through all the shoot through parts in the game just as they appear so starting off we have the buggy engine cover uh, a lot of times i'll just type in buggy in the search bar above and then it'll show me all these buggy parts so a lot of times i will use these buggy parts first buggy floor very popular one you got the buggy trunk now these are ones that most people know about so i'm gonna go kind of fast on these ones the gun mount 380 durability insane left buggy corner not one that i use a whole lot mounting points aren't that good but it is still a 
good shoot through part to have radiator grill again not the best mounting points in the world but still a very good shoot through part and again the right buggy corner small buggy floor small buggy floor is probably one of my favorite shoot through parts definitely use that on every single build uh going down the line here let's see if we can find some more shoot through parts for us oh the power slide so this one only features 25 percent bullet pass through but that is 90 points of durability so it has a very very high durability uh i'd say 90 percent of meta builds will probably have power slide especially dog builds dog builds especially use that part going down the line going down the line all right the catheter this this part i didn't even know existed until like six months ago guys this catheter is so tiny so tiny uh i didn't even know it existed until i built a pc cricket build it was hiding in a cricket build but this guy boasts 60 durability if you count that 90 percent of the bullet damage passes through for only nine kilograms look how small it is guys this is actually really small um, it has some pretty good mounting points like you can place it up against um a cabin or something and then you can you can mount things to it pretty cool so uh the left catheter that is one that i think a lot of people probably don't even ever look at to be honest with you but it is a good one it is a good one nonetheless so moving on down the list what other shoot through parts can we find in this uh lineup here hopefully i don't miss any i shouldn't miss any oh the mounting bracket this one is so good it only features a 50 percent bullet pass through but it's got 90 durability and 99 kilograms of weight and the mounting points on this thing are actually really good um i notice a lot of builds haven't been including the mounting bracket yet i think because they like forget it's there they're using all the standard stuff if your build doesn't have mounting brackets especially hover builds you need to start using mounting brackets it's only 50 percent uh, bullet pass through such a high durability to mass ratio guys so don't sleep on the mounting brackets put them on all of your builds for sure all right let's see what else we can find what else we can find oh we're down to the elbows probably another one of my favorite um mounting parts the left and right elbow features 290 durability these are almost as durable as the gun mounts i think they're the second most durable shoot through part in the game uh maybe aside from the mounting bracket but i think even with the the 90 percent bullet pass through giving them 290 durability second most durable part in the game for shoot through parts so we have the left and right elbow very very critical parts for all of your builds am i missing any let's find out let's find out let's find out i don't think i'm missing any i'm just gonna double check my list real quick and make sure that i didn't we got the oh the vial i did miss the vial all right i did miss the vial so this is another one that you might overlook 90 percent bullet pass through the mass is a little higher than most of these shoot through parts but again 280 durability if you consider that 90 percent of bullet damage passes through this goes on the front end of a lot of dog builds uh i use fire bugs you'll find this part uh, a lot of times protecting the fire bugs so you know things like that uh what else did we miss did we miss any other parts i think we actually got all the shoot through parts guys so if you're missing these shoot through parts one way you can actually get some of these shoot through parts obviously you need to level up but if you go to your badge exchange, mine is empty. Unfortunately, I've gotten all of them. At the very bottom of the badge exchange, you will find a uh, a section of parts you can uh, you can get with badges. So if you're looking for more parts for your build, check the badge exchange and see if you can get any of those parts listed uh, for your build. Because all those parts that are listed, I guarantee if you're not using them, if you use them right, they will help make your build way better. Use them to mount weapons. Use them to mount armor, important armor. They are absolutely insane. Well, I hope you guys like this kind of quick video of parts that you need to use on your build. In particular, shoot through parts. We might do a part two and cover bumpers. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like that. And uh, one last thing, if you'd like to support the channel, please do become a member. It's only $1 a month. Uh, it helps support the channel greatly. I'm not going to lie. There are some perks there. I'm working on more perks. And as we get members, I will try to be more consistent with members doing like things like member only streams or member only videos things like that member only kind of game nights so if you'd like to support the channel since youtube actually doesn't give me a damn thing yet hit that join button it's only 99 cents and uh yeah let me know in the comments below if you like this video i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you guys in the next video